Activity 321 eight page layout. So that's what we're working with. So it's the same document you've been working with up till now. And just to explain text threading first before we actually do it, I'm just going to go to page 8 here. So we've got a blank page and just uh, cover the basics first. So if I just take my type tool and I create a text frame in the first column here and I just right click and fill it with placeholder text and then take my selection tool and make that shorter. So immediately you can see we get the indicator that there is overset text here. So the indicator is this little red box with a plus in it. That means there's overset text. In other words, not all the text is visible. So obviously if you want to fit text into a frame, there are a few strategies you can use. You can um, select the text. So I take my type tool, click inside here, press Command or Control A which will select all the text including the overset text and I can play around with font size until it fits in but <clears throat> but seven points is way too small so um, that's not a, a good strategy so I'll put it back up to 12 you can change some of the things like uh, line spacing or leading uh, character or word spacing tracking but in this case none of those are going to work so what you need <clears throat> is you need to thread this text into another text frame so there's a couple of ways you can do it one is to take your selection tool <coughs> excuse me and you can click on that red box to load the overset text onto your cursor you can then go somewhere else either on this page or another page in this document and you can drag out a text frame and the overset text will then move into that new text frame and if I make this text frame big enough the text eventually is no longer overset. If I want to see where the text is threading, I need to go to View, Extras, Show Text Threads. And now it's showing me that the text is going from this out port to this in port. And if I edit the text, like I delete some of this text here, you can see that it's live. It updates dynamically. That's one way of doing it. The other way is to create a text frame first. So if I have a text frame over here, I then go to the overset text, click on the red box and go to the text frame and click. It will thread the text into that text frame. So that's how text th threading works. You can thread more than two frames together. So I can go to this uh, overset text box and I can thread a third text frame. Uh, let's just send a bit more text into that frame there. If I delete the middle box, these two automatically thread together. If I double click on any of the ports, so if I double click on this first out port, I unthread the text. Okay, so that's how text threading works. It's very common in a lot of publications. You'll find a little note at the bottom of a story continued on page 30 or whatever. That's how text, text threading works. So I'm just going to delete all of this. And we're going to go to our DPS layout one master page. So here I want this text frame and this text frame to thread together um, just so that the story stays as one piece of text. So even though this isn't overset, um, it's still going to be convenient for when I'm laying out the text. So I'm going to select this text frame, go to my out port, that's the bigger, bigger box at the bottom, click. Then I'm going to go to this text frame and click. So now the text is all together and threading from one box to another. I can see my text thread line there. But I want to push the, um, the text from the second box into the second box so that they are separate like they were before. So let me just zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take my type tool and place my cursor after reference and before body text. And instead of pressing enter, enter, enter to go into the next text frame, which is what you would do in a program like Word, you don't do that. It, that's incorrect typography. You need to put in a special character that pushes that text into the next frame. So we're going to go type, insert break character, frame break. 
And what that does is it, pu it puts in a frame break to push that text into the next box. So that's now threaded text and ready for us to format and put in the real text later on. So what you're going to do is just this particular exercise. You don't need to open up your personal eight page document uh, because there might not be an opportunity for text threading there. But what you're going to do is just on this DPS layout one of this document, you're going to thread this text together so that you can see um, these two uh, frames threaded. Select the one, make sure that uh, view extras show text threads is on. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time.